You know, this video might surprise you if you're on your way into mechanical engineering or if you're just curious about what engineers do on a day-to-day -day basis. Because I'm about to tell you something that people don't often say out loud. I want to talk about why you don't really need math in mechanical engineering, or at least not in the way that everyone makes it sound. And I know what you're thinking, hold on a minute, aren't mechanical engineers supposed to be math wizards? And I get it, you know, it's what all of us have been taught from the beginning. You know, if you want to design a machine or optimize a thermal system or develop a robotic arm, then you need a deep understanding of complex math, right? WRONG! Here's the truth that doesn't get emphasized enough. Once you're out of school and working in the field, you rarely, almost never sit down and start crunching integrals by hand. You're not gonna be pulling out a Laplace transforms at your desk in the middle of your busy workday. You know, if you can do basic arithmetic and understand a concept or two about geometry, and maybe recall some high-level principles from your statics and dynamics classes, then you'll be just fine. It's a lot less pure math than everyone imagines. And I don't mean to dismiss the importance of math as a foundation. You know, math trains your brain to think logically, to understand cause and effect, and to be detail-oriented. But here's the kicker. The actual day-to-day -day tasks of a mechanical engineer revolve around making decisions using tools already provided. You know, you're using CAD software, um, spreadsheets, finite element analysis packages, and of course, the occasional um, equation from a reference manual. But the software that you rely on is doing the complex math for you behind the scenes so that you can focus on whether something makes sense physically or uh, practically. You know, think of the software as your loyal minion who does the nasty algebra for you while you sip on coffee and question your life choices. <laughs> Think about it this way, you don't need to know how to derive the Navier-Stokes equation from scratch while designing a cooling system, but you do need to know what happens when fluid flows through a pipe, how pressure and temperature change, what typical ranges are considered safe, and what design parameters you can tweak. These are known as conceptual understandings, you know, guided by rules of thumb, design standards, um, and built-in equations in your simulations. The actual math those integrals and differential equations are deep under the hood, handled by software or by pre-established industry formulas. It's kind of like not needing to know how to bake a cake from scratch because, well, Costco has your back. Except in this case, it's more about not needing to know how to summon dark mathematical sorcery every time you want to validate a design. A mechanical engineering in practice looks a lot more like solving problems with pre-made tools and a lot less like chalkboards full of complex equations. You're going to be spending your time making judgments based on test results, using intuition, which is obviously shaped by your experience, and by applying known guidelines from standards organizations. It's about communication, you know, explaining why a design is safe and cost effective, rather than rattling off the integral that you used to confirm it. Most clients and managers care less about the equation that you integrated and more about the end result. Is it going to work? Is it reliable? Is it efficient? And I remember the first time that I realized this. I was fresh out of university where everything was about proving your work. You know, long derivations, uh, neat notebooks, neatly cancelled variables. Then I got my first job and I waited for that moment where I'd have to solve something super complex with pen and paper. And it never came. Instead, I had to learn to trust the tools at my disposal, like handbooks, CAD simulations, product specifications. I learned that talking to a senior engineer about a design problem felt more like a conversation about architecture and aesthetics than pure math. Now this doesn't mean that math is useless, but it's more like background music, you know, it sets the tone. Without it, you'd never appreciate what your tools are doing for you, but you don't have to be a human calculator. Come on! Do math! No, you don't have to hold differential equations in your head. Instead, you learn the language of the field. Stress limits, thermal gradients, geometric tolerances, safety factors. These concepts are what really shape your day-to-day -day decisions. You know, think of math like the creepy neighbor who stares at you through the window. You acknowledge their existence, but you don't invite them in for coffee every morning. So if you're somebody who's not very good at math, just like me, and you're worried about it, then let me reassure you. Mechanical engineering is a lot more about concepts, communication, creativity, 
and a lot less about crunching numbers. You know, you can be a fantastic engineer without ever enjoying calculus. The industry needs people who can visualize how parts fit together, who understand the practical constraints, and who can integrate feedback from manufacturing teams, clients, and safety regulations. That is the skill that sets you apart as a mechanical engineer. Math might make you cry in your dorm room at 3 in the morning, but in the industry when you're working, you're gonna get to design cool stuff without sobbing over mathematical symbols. You know, in the end, the world of mechanical engineering is a lot bigger and more varied than you might think. The myth that you need to be a math genius is just that, a myth. What you really need is a solid understanding of how things work, a willingness to learn from the tools and the people around you, and a creativity that extends beyond the blackboard and into the real world. Once you embrace that, then the idea that you absolutely need to be a math genius becomes something that somebody just told you in school. And that is the truth about whether you need math in mechanical engineering or not. Now this is my truth, it's my perspective. Other people might disagree with me and that is okay. But from my experiences and from everything that I've learned so far about this industry, I've realized that math just stays at university. Well, at least the complex side of it. In the industry, you won't have to have that calculus textbook haunt your dreams. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because I'll be posting a lot more mechanical engineering content that you don't want to miss out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.